What's up, everybody? It's the Alex Leak and Friends NFL Podcast back for another week. I am your host, Alex Leak, and this is the 2019 Week 9 Minnesota Vikings at the Kansas City Chiefs episode. The 6 and 2 Vikings travel to Arrowhead to take on the 5 and 3 Chiefs. The Chiefs in their second game in a row without star quarterback Patrick Mahomes. So once again, backup quarterback Matt Moore will get the start. And the Chiefs played the Packers pretty closely in Week 8, even with Matt Moore. Um, The Vikings had not won in Arrowhead in Kansas City since 1974. So that being said, I picked the Chiefs to win this game. So let's see how it goes. Um, Yeah, I picked them last week. So, I mean, I just felt like this is a game that the Vikings could easily lose on the road. It's a tough environment. And, uh, yeah, it's the backup quarterback, but the Chiefs still have a lot of weapons. And uh, as you'll see in this game, they can still put up points. uh, This game starts off with Matt Moore throwing a 40-yard touchdown pass to star wide receiver Tyreek Hill to put the Chiefs up 7-0. Kirk Cousins responds with a 4-yard touchdown pass to rookie wide receiver Ola B.C. Johnson. Game tied at 7. The kickers go back and forth to make it 10-7, 10-10. And the game's tied at halftime at 10-10. Uh, to start the second half, Chiefs rookie wide receiver McCole Hardman fumbles the opening kick, and the Vikings recover. Kirk Cousins would then throw a 16-yard touchdown pass to running back Amir Abdullah, but kicker Dan Bailey would miss the extra points. So the Vikings with a 16-10 third quarter lead. Then Chiefs running back Damian Williams would break free for a 91-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs take a 17-16 lead. A 45-yarder by Harrison Butker makes it 20-16 Kansas City. Kirk Cousins fires a 3-yard touchdown pass to tight end Kyle Rudolph, making it 23-20 Vikings. But Harrison Butker makes a 54-yarder to tie the game. And then Butker makes a game-winning 44-yard field goal as time expires to give the Chiefs a 26-23 win over the Vikings. In Arrowhead. Big win for the Chiefs as they improved to five and three. Or no, they improved to six and three. And the Vikings fall to six and three as well. Uh, I mean uh good win for the Chiefs, you know, anytime you win with your backup quarterback in there it's big time. Uh, if they had fallen to five and four, the division would have been a lot tighter. But sitting at six and three, big win. Matt Moore goes twenty-five of thirty-five for two hundred and seventy-five yards, a touchdown, and no turnovers, filling in nicely for the injured Patrick Mahomes. Running back Damian Williams on twelve carries goes for one hundred and twenty-five yards and a touchdown. Uh, wide receiver Tyreek kills six catches for one hundred and forty yards and a touchdown. And kicker Harrison Bucker has been very reliable this year. Perfect 4 of 4 on field goals, 2 of 2 on extra points. For Kirk Cousins, he throws 19 of 38 for 220 yards, 3 touchdowns and no turnovers. The Chiefs hold running back Dalvin Cook to a combined 116 yards and no touchdowns. Tight end Kyle Rudolph catches 3 for 23 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Dan Bailey goes 1 of 1 on field goals and 2 for 3 on extra points. So the Chiefs snap the Vikings' four-game winning streak and uh, get a big win for themselves. The Chiefs 6-3 will be playing at the Titans in Week 10. The 6-3 Chiefs at the 4-5 Titans. And uh, star quarterback Patrick Mahomes uh was a full participant in practice this week and is ex- expected back so good timing for the chiefs best case scenario with mahomes only missing two weeks and the chiefs going one and one in that time chiefs at titans um even with mahomes coming back he could be a little bit rusty and the titans are a good football team that could be a tough game for the chiefs at the titans we'll see chiefs are definitely talented enough to win it 
but you never know uh, if Mahomes might have some rust after missing a couple weeks due to injury. Uh, and then on Sunday night football in week 10, it'll be the 6-3 and three Vikings at the 5-3 and three Cowboys. Vikings four game winning streak snapped in this one and I expect them to start a losing streak. I think they lose on Sunday night at Jerry World at the Cowboys. Cowboys need a win and I think that they feed Zeke and get a win against the Vikings in Dallas. The Vikings also claim veteran safety Andrew Sendejo off of waivers after the Eagles cut him. Sendejo was a longtime Viking before this year so stuff in this one uh, we'll see how these teams bounce back next week Vikings if they fall again like I anticipate they could be sitting at six and four through week 10 a big game at Dallas but I don't see them getting it done uh, Chiefs could fall to six and four as well at the Titans that I think the Chiefs have a better chance of beating the Titans than the Vikings do of beating the Cowboys Mahomes back will help but, I mean, you never know. If he's rusty, you know, it, he could take a week to kick off some of the rust. So we'll see how he looks at the Titans. Big game for both teams next week. Playoff implications starting to really matter as we get into November and December uh, in, these, in this season. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Check out the interview I did tonight as well with... Uh, former Chargers and Broncos uh, corner Quentin Jammer uh, is up on the channel. So that was a great interview. He was an awesome interview. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. hope you guys enjoyed that episode, that interview. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Follow along as I keep these episodes coming out all season long. Thanks for the support, and have a great week, guys. Peace out.